Okay, I'm looking at measuring uh, angles here. I'm uh, drawing them. To be fair, I'd, if I show you how to measure them, then you should be able to draw them. Um, now, I can't, unfortunately, on this app, um, move uh, the protractor around. So I have actually just got a picture of a protractor here, okay, um, which should which should um, help. Um, basically, this straight edge, okay, you need to put along one of the lines of the angle. That's the key. And then you're choosing which, um, which uh, the, the scale to use. All right, so you'll notice that zero is on the inside on the right hand side and on the outside here and on the inside here. Okay, so what I would do for this first one here, um, up at up here, would be I would place the straight edge along here, all right, and then I'd measure around there. Okay, and if I measure around there now, I've done this. I printed it out and did it earlier. That would be 50 degrees. I'm using the inside scale because I'm measuring from the right and round. Now, if you put, and I don't see why anyone would ever do this, if you put the straight edge along there, uh, along the other line and measure around, you'd still get 50, but you'd be using the other scale. Now, with the second one, all right, I'm going to be uh, putting my straight edge along there. All right, again, I'm going to be using the inside scale um, to measure round there. Now, you know that that is not going to be, you, you've got a choice, it's going to be the inside scale, all right, but it will look like 46 if, I, if this angle here is actually 46, okay? But you know that that angle um, that I've got to measure has got to be bigger than 90 because it's beyond um, the vertical, basically, isn't it? All right, so... It, I actually measured that accurately at 134. Right, the last one is where people get a bit uh, confused or can get a bit confused. Right, the problem being that unless you've got one of those circular protractors, this angle is far too big. So what I suggest you do is you measure this angle here. I'm going to put the straight edge here. Okay, measure that angle round. Right, and then because it's a full turn, I'm going to take it away from 360. Now, funnily enough, these two angles are the same size. I mean, a pure coincidence, they're the same size. That measures 50. So, therefore, the angle I want is 360. Take away 50 or subtract 50, which should give me 310. The only thing you've got to be careful for, remember, put the straight edge of the protractor along one of the straight lines of your angle and then choose the right scale.